you how to transfer photos and videos directly from your iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, 10R, even the iPhone 11, directly to any Microsoft Surface Pro, okay? And we're going to be using a cable, okay? Now, the first thing to note is, depending on um, if your Surface Pro has a Thunderbolt or not, but I can use two different lightning cables here, okay? Now, my Surface Pro 7 here, I do have a Thunderbolt 3. Basically, it's a USB type C and I can use one of these cables like this lightning port to a USB-C plug it directly into my Thunderbolt uh, 3 uh, port which is right here or if you don't have this or if you don't have this over here you can also use the traditional uh, basically a USB-A to a lightning port okay and they both work the same way so let me just go ahead and plug I'll, I'll just go ahead and use this one here but we're going to plug that one in and now we're going to go ahead and grab my iPhone here. Now the first time I connect, I heard something on there. Now let me go ahead and I have to log in first. So let me go ahead and log in here. As soon as I log in, I should get a message up here. It says allow this device to access photos and videos. I'm going to go ahead and click on allow right here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and set this down now what I have to do is go into my file explorer, that little folder down there. So let me go ahead and go down here. Let me go ahead and click on that. And then this here will pop up. Now what we have to do from here is you have to go down to right here where it says this PC. So we'll click on this PC. And now it says Apple iPhone right here. So let me go ahead and double click on that. And then internal storage, let me double click on that. DCIM, double click on that. And now I only have one folder here. I don't have many photos or videos on here, but you may have m many other folders in here as well. Okay, anyways, I'll, I'll double click on this folder here and you can see some photos and videos right here. And if you want to transfer it, you can just simply just drag and drop it onto your desktop. If you want on your desktop or if you want to go ahead and transfer all of them or select some of them, you can just go like highlight it and just move it all the way up, drop it onto the desktop just like that. And then you can see all of them is transferring right now. Now, another easier way where what you may want to do is if you want to put it on your desktop, what you can do is just go, go just put, put the mouse there and just create a new folder. Go ahead and right click and then you can go down to new and then go to folder. And then I can basically highlight all these and I can drop this directly into the folder as well. Let's drop it in there just like that. Give it a second here. You can see that it is uh, transferring some photos and videos. And now if I double click on this new folder I just made, we should see those photos and videos right there. So pretty simple. Any questions or issues or anything like that, uh, just comment below. All right. See you guys in the next one.